I just spent a bunch of money making this Christmas tree for you. I didn't spend that much money. I also found this Christmas tree on like, it, it was in the garbage. Merry Christmas. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Money Reads where I talk about books and things and I am Monica, your host that took another week off of booktube and I really did feel kind of bad about it and then I realized that I was basically barely surviving for a week. I didn't have time to like shower, eat. It was a disaster of a week. So in the end, I realized that you know what? It's okay. You have all told me it's okay if I take a week off. So I did, I took a week off and I feel all the much better for it. But I am back here with you with a Christmas tree. I told you I, I was gonna, I'm, I, I decorated for Christmas. Aren't, isn't it cute? I love the little Santa. And also I left this candle that has a skull in it. Cause you know, you gotta leave a little bit of skull in your life. But anyway, let's get started with today's video. Today's video is a little bit of a story I have for you about how Amazon has basically ruined my book buying experience. Now, you all know that I am not anti-Amazon. I am completely aware that some people don't have the ability to afford much less even be able to get books that are not from Amazon. So what I mean with Amazon has ruined my book buying experience is that last month I decided to buy a couple of books. They were not available on Amazon, but they were available through a, um, a Spanish like big chain of books and they were also available through Blackwell's. Well, what ended up happening was that my books are still not shipped. And here's where the problem lies. Here's where like I started to like get angry. Also, by the way, it's still technically autumn until December 30th, uh, December 21st. So that's still going to say autumn, but back to the story. So I got very angry. I was like, why hasn't my book shipped? What the hell? All of these places, you know? And I realized that what was happening is I am so used to Amazon being like next day shipping, Sunday shipping, all of this, that I forgot that this is really not the reality for most book buying places, for most book stores, you know? The reality is that most places don't have warehouses full of really cheaply bought books to be sold at a very cheap price. So what ends up happening is that you kind of have to wait. And I forgot what it feels like to wait. I forgot that sometimes you don't get immediate pleasure. And the worst thing about it is when I was really thinking about it, when I sat down and I was like, why am I so angry? I was like, I have 50, 70, 100 other books that I could be reading right now, but I want these books now. And one of the reasons that I wanted them was, well, I want to show them in videos, of course. One of the reasons is I want to show them in videos. The other reason is this feeling of uh, FOMO when it comes to books, like, oh my God, everybody's hauling this book, which I don't normally get that feeling because I, I am not usually reading what most people on booktube are reading and this is in no way me being like oh i'm such a special snowflake i don't read what everybody else reads no but it, it is the reality that my book taste isn't in the ya contemporary or ya fantasy world therefore it's very normal that i'm not gonna be like getting all the new releases but there are some books that i really wanted to talk about including one that was one of my favorite books of this year. I was going to do a top 10 list of my favorite books of the year. I was going to do Vlogmas. I was going to do so many things. But the reality is I, have, I, I was stretching myself thin. But going back to this, it's just this idea that if you don't have the latest release or if you don't have anything to show, people are not as interested in your videos. There's a reason why whenever I'm doing a wrap up, if I have 10 books, but I read five of them in audio, I will put 10 books. I will literally grab books that I didn't read just so that I have that 10 book stack so you can see all the wonderful, fantabulous books that I read. 
And I know for a fact that people enjoy it when you hold up a book more than when you put a picture of a book. It's also a lot easier to edit that way, just saying. And putting the picture takes, it doesn't take editing time because it's a really easy process, but it does take rendering time. So it's also easier for me if I have the physical book. So here's the thing, the thing is that I've, I've forgotten what it feels like to wait for something, to not have it me immediate, to, to not have things in the very moment. And I think that this is something that we should be looking at. You know, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing or it's a good thing. It's just something to keep in mind whenever we are upset that something hasn't shipped or that it hasn't arrived to us or it's not within the allocated time, whatever that means. You know, um, I was very excited for the books that I ordered and I am still excited and they are still coming. That's the thing. They will be here. They're just not here when I want them. And, and I think that that's the real issue. It's the I want it now and I get it now. And, and that's what Amazon has truly done to the book buying industry. Because the reality is, well, and especially today with, you know, the worldwide situation that we're going through we're used to buying things online and getting them shipped right away and local bookstores don't have that ability especially in my case where i live in spain and the local bookstores that i'm buying are from the uk and um one of the bookstores that i bought from is not from the uk but is shipping the books from the united states to get them and then send them to me so it's gonna take a while and you know what i decided that i'm gonna wait i was gonna like i was like angry like oh i don't want this anymore i don't want it if you're not gonna ship it you know like out like a child but then i thought you know, girl, first of all, you don't even have time to read at the moment. I, you will see in my coming up wrap up that I, I did pretty good reading wise in, in November, but I could have read so much more. The thing is, I just don't have time to read right now. And when I do have the time, the last thing that I kind of want to do is read because I'm tired. My brain is tired. I just want to watch what what is it called the great british bake-off or similar shows that require me to just turn off my brain and just watch and just that's it you know um and and then i'm also going to talk about the, the 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 holy book hangover and how sometimes you just have to wait between books you know there's this idea of immediateness that happens in booktube land and well in any and in any community in 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 youtube in general if you're in the gamer community you have to play the new game right away if you are a beauty guru you have to get all the new products right away and it just keeps happening and happening and happening and it it causes stress it causes stress on the creator but i think it also causes an expectation from the viewer from what to expect from their creators. What do you want from us? You know, you, you, of course you want us to stay up to date, but I think people sometimes forget that that is almost nearly impossible to do, you know, or to talk about new books all the time or to be reading all the time. That's another thing, but that's another thing for another video. Um, this doesn't mean that I'm breaking it off with Amazon. I have a whole video about that and about how that's um, not only not realistic, but it's also kind of um, um, elitist and a little bit um, people that do that are kind of out of touch with what is possible for some people to do and for other people to do. Um, so, yeah, I have a whole video about that. I won't delve much into that. But um, what I am going to say is that I feel it, you know, I get it. I get that. I get that I want it now moment and I had it. And I'm still kind of upset that I don't get to show you physically some of the books that I read because I really want to bring awareness to them. And I know that holding the physical book for you is much more engaging than seeing a picture of it. And, you know, it's. I don't know, there's something about holding a physical book that makes viewership more attentive, I guess. I just realized that my tree doesn't have lights on this side. 
that better. I, I'm going to show you the tree. It's, it's, it's actually kind of cute for something that I found in the garbage, you know? <laughs> But anyway, um, that's all that I wanted to say. That's all that I kind of wanted to film right now. And yeah, thank you so much for sticking around. Sorry, not sorry I took a week off, actually. I am not sorry. I needed it. So um, yeah, it's going to happen. YouTube is not my career. You know, I don't get paid anything to make these videos. I make them for fun. And I think sometimes I have to remind myself that that's the case, that I am not getting paid, that if I don't post for a week, it's not like my life is over. You know, it's like, no, it doesn't. And, and, and especially when it comes to my real job, my real, you know, the one that pays me. Um, yeah, I have to prioritize that. I have to prioritize my mental health. And if I take a week off, I take a week off. I'm sure you guys have plenty of booktube content especially with vlogmas and everything so yeah without any further ado i bid you adieu with a friendly reminder that i post most mondays wednesdays and fridays and that i will see you in another galaxy far far away also i want to remind you never to watch the um star wars christmas special unless you're high Please don't be hot. Oh, I'm going to get demonetized. None of my videos are ever going to be monetized. <laughs>